and the former chief marketing officer of Coca-Cola. Over the course of 30 plus years of hands-on marketing experience, Sergio Zeman has conceived a revolutionary set of principles that are proven to translate marketing strategies into positive business results. He rejects the old rules of the industry in conceptualized marketing. Zeman's record as a master marketer also includes 10 years with Coca-Cola, PepsiCo, Procter & Gamble. He is best known for his bold actions as the outspoken CMO of Coca-Cola when he reconceptualized the company's marketing strategy and bo boosted worldwide annual sales volume from 9 to 15 billion cases, the most explosive growth in the company's history. This success led Time Magazine to name him one of three key pitchmen of the 20th century. His passion and knowledge have been transformed into text that constitute the core curriculum of results-driven marketing. His best-selling book, and I'm sure many of you have, writ, uh, have read it, The End of Marketing as We Know It, clearly outlines the ground rules for marketing success. And Sergio, one of the things I really like about this book is that in the back, for those of us that have attention deficit disorder and don't want to read all of it, the last, there's, a, there's about two or three pages at the end that just list the new principles uh, of marketing. His latest book, of which you will get a copy, it will be on the table out uh, when you leave, has been personally signed by Sergio. His new book is Renovate Before You Innovate. It details time-tested principles for accelerating sustainable organic growth. He's a native of Mexico City. He holds an executive MBA from Harvard and has attended graduate schools in London, Paris, and Jerusalem. When he's not immersed in the world of marketing, he expends his spare energy as an enthusiastic runner and an avid reader. He also enjoys golf, skiing, and cycling. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Sergio Zeman. So what is marketing? You're the marketing people. You are the people that are supposed to do the marketing thing, right? I mean, the boss came in this morning to talk to you about accelerating from four to six. He didn't send an email. You know, he didn't put in a, a memo to everybody in the organization, including the accounting people and all that stuff. He came to you. So what is marketing? So what I'm going to try to convince you today is that you got to change your view of marketing. And that the role of marketing that I have been peddling all my life, okay, which is to drive the growth agenda of a company versus to be a functional responsibility. Yeah, you can go to the agency and drink latte with people who wear pajamas to work. That's fine, okay? <laughs> You can put together brochures that all of you like. You can. The reason why they don't like your stuff is because you haven't explained what you're trying to do. And you open up the thing for them to have the opinion. You know, Roberto Goizueta used to say, never give fools options. <laughs> it's a little condescending, okay? <laughs> but you know, what do you do if you have a little kid and you say, which one would you like, son? I mean, who knows, right? So what you got to do is you got to figure out that you got to evolve, you know, from being a functional responsibility to a cross-functional responsibility, where marketing needs to evolve over time to drive the growth agenda of the company. It is no coincidence that the conversation of four to six this morning happened. It's no coincidence that Steve is talking to you about all the things that he's talking to you about. Because sooner or later, marketing will drive the growth agenda of every company. The question is, are you going to be able to accelerate, you know, getting to the destination or not? You know? Marketing is going to be Lily's growth driver on the basis of what I know right now, which is not much, okay? You know, you have a long way to go. You know, there's a lot of confusion. You know, there's a lot of... of lack of definition, and you can turn around and say, by the way, why cannot I have it the way that Pope Benedict had it? Where somebody said, he's the Pope, and they went over and they invested him as Pope, and nobody argues. It would be nice if somebody stood up and got all of you lined up and said, here you are, now you will drive the growth agenda of this company. Okay? And you wear the thing, and then everybody says, whoa. Okay, you guys are in charge. Not that easy. So you're going to have to find a way of developing the communications, the architectures, and the structures to take control of the growth agenda because it is not that you're going to wrestle it away from anybody. You're going to wrestle it away 
from it not being done today. Okay? Because the growth agenda of the business right now is being managed by a lot of people. You were given today the rules, four to six. It's beautiful. You can actually get yourself invested into that whole thing to try to figure out how you're going to invent the growth that is going to move you from four to six. That's 50% of the trend. You know, it's not that bad. You know, but you're going to have to get creative. You have to get aligned. You got to figure out what are all the things that you can do. You got to figure out how. Remember the, mo the movie Patton? Remember George C. Scott? You know, George C. Scott said in that movie, you know, remember, the idea is not to die for your country, it's to have the other guy die for his. <laughs> remember that? So when everybody talks to me about everything that is going on in the market, all the political situation, all that stuff, have the other guy die, okay, for all that stuff. You need to grow. Because if you seek refuge in the fact that you're not, you know, the reason we're not growing is because of all these guys and what's going on with the government and the scandals and the thing. And the, I said, got it. Let everybody else suffer two eggs versus you, and you've got to go grow all this stuff. How do I know some of this stuff? Well, we did research with you, okay? And it says, basically, that everyone is, is not on the same page as to what we're trying to accomplish. You are saying, okay, that you're confused about your job and that the rest of your organization is confused about what the job of marketing is. This is your survey, okay? You did it. I mean, some of you might have answered this stuff. The organization isn't clear what marketing does. Remember my conversation with Roberto Goizueta where he said, you do the marketing thing? And I actually had to define what marketing is, and I encourage you to sit down in conversations with your counterparts in sales or wherever you are and have the conversation that says, so what do you expect marketing to do? I know it sounds like you got to ask the question. Because you will be shocked at the answers that you're going to get. You're going to have some sales guys, because I know your business a little bit, not ILA, not, not this business, but the business of pharma. They're going to say, you are supposed to give me the materials in order for me to go sell the products. And you're going to say, no. Okay? That's not what I'm supposed to do. Let me make sure that we engage in a discussion here about what marketing is supposed to do. And you have to get everybody to start getting to a point in which you have common ground. Because, come, because unless you get common ground, it doesn't make any, you can't be frustrated about it. You can't just sit around and say, well, somebody should tell him. Ain't happening. Okay? It's not happening. If that's what you want to do, move to a monastery. I mean, that's when people tell people what to do. Okay? It's just, the rules are very clear. In the world that we live, we're still dealing with a discipline that is misunderstood. Marketing is still perceived to be trinkets and trash by a lot of people. It is, okay? And by the way, a lot of people who are in marketing foster that belief because they do drink as a trash, okay? And then they stand up, you know, with a, a shiny press conference somewhere, you know, to announce why they just got this latest campaign or this latest promotion or this latest sock puppet, you know, or chihuahua dog, you know, or minjo green or stuff like that. And by the way, so you're not going to be able to control the world. You've got to control your own.